Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this uh, Atom controller from Turtle Beach. There are a few features that makes this controller stand out from other mobile gaming controllers, which we are gonna go ahead and check out shortly. Taking a look at the box itself here and uh, the back here and on the side, and we can see that 20 hour advertisement. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see how this uh, thing looks like. And the actual controller here comes in a nice bag here. So definitely an interesting design that we see here uh, to take off the controller. I'm assuming we just need to pull it out. And uh, it is, I can see some magnets here. So once you go ahead and attach it back, it just goes in there, which is nice. And it's not gonna like uh, fall out. Like right now I'm like shaking it. It's uh, not gonna come out. Then we can also see the touch points here. So that's for the charging. And the controller itself here, the good thing about this, pretty much able to fit any phone size, any phone length. So before we go ahead and put our phone in there, let's just go ahead and take a, look, a little closer look at each of the controllers here. So at the back, uh, there's no like rubberized grip or anything like that, but it's uh, like one of those uh, soft plastics. And here we can see like it does have a rubberized bottom, uh, but unfortunately no rubberized sides here. So your phone is go gonna go ahead and touch that plastic. I wish they can include it, like make this uh, rubberized as well, like on the sides, just so your phone, like there's no chance of scratching it. Uh, but at the bottom where your phone is also gonna touch, it is uh, rubberized, which is nice. And looking at the other controller here, We do get full-sized uh, button uh, joysticks here, as you can see comparing this uh, with my Xbox controller. And at the bottom, this is where we have the USB Type-C on the left controller and also the Bluetooth. So I'm assuming the easiest way to kind of go ahead and connect this. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this side. And I'm using the Pixel 8 Pro right now. So right now everything is in place and it doesn't look like so. Right now I'm shaking it. It's definitely holding in there. It's not really going anywhere, which is good. If uh, for any reason you wanna go ahead and use the cameras, uh, that's gonna be covered here as you can see. It doesn't really matter if you have a case because there's like nothing to connect since this is Bluetooth. So first game we're testing out is uh, Call of Duty Warzone for mobile. So let's see how well it runs. So, so far the movement here looks very good. The joystick and everything very responsive here. Let's say I want to go ahead and move very slowly, like I'm sniping. And I don't really see any like delay uh, because this is like connected through Bluetooth. I don't really notice anything like I'm, as soon as I press something. So as you can see here, Now I'm running Amazon Luna here, so Xbox Game Pass and all that work fine with this controller too. So let's just go ahead and show you how this kind of runs. So even Fortnite here, uh, movement and everything looks good. It doesn't look like I need to go ahead and make any adjustments either, which is good. Um, as uh, for delay, um, I don't think I noticed much. And I think that was just a bot, but you can kind of see the gameplay here. Um, Okay, let's just go ahead and shoot here so you can uh, kind of see the trigger as I shoot. So I don't really notice much delay here, which is good. Now I'm trying a Rocket League uh, side swipe here. So this is an Android game. So we're just going to see how this one runs. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and quit while I got that goal here. So opening up the Atom app here, we can see a little information. Then uh, we also have uh, dead zones, which, uh, which we are able to adjust here, as you can see, so left stick. And then if I go ahead and click uh, right stick, so we're able to do the same thing there. And then triggers as well. So we're able to set those dead zones under response. And here, left stick, where we have uh, precision, fast and standard. So we're also able to adjust those. So let's say I want the, my left stick uh, to be on fast. And then on my right stick, I want precision. 
So you're able to set those up. So right now it's uh, remembering precision and uh, fast here. And uh, going to the next, so we have a uh, game discovery. So you're able to kind of launch your game straight from here. And then power management. So this is also where it's telling you like 40% is left on the left hand and 100% on the right one here. And it's kind of giving us an idea of how much uh, this uh, will last. So 18 hours here. And then firmware update. So this is our current firmware on these uh, controllers. One thing I really like what they did with this controller is uh, they left these holes here because that's usually where the phone speakers are and the audio sounds great because I do have other controllers and uh, the audio that comes out of them, it's a little bit muffled, but here it sounds very clear because of these uh, two holes here. And then we also have the USB type C, so it does allow it uh, to plug in while playing, which is nice. So one thing to kind of look out for is, uh, so as you can see here, because of the phone's cameras, it doesn't stay flush here. Like on the right controller here, we can see it's all like flush, touches the phone. And as you can see on the left hand controller here, because of this uh, front piece, it needs to touch here and it doesn't really stay flush. So this is how kind of it looks like right now. While the right one looks perfect, this one kind of like sticks out a bit here. But it doesn't like fall or anything like that, which is good. Like it's not really gonna go anywhere. And uh, checking out the weight of these uh, controllers. So about 186 grams. Now we're just checking how far this extends so you can uh, get an idea of what you can fit in here. So about nine centimeters here. After trying a few emulator games, uh, Game Pass, uh, Amazon Luna, even Steam Link, everything worked out perfectly fine. Did not encounter any issues uh, with any like, I uh, had to adjust the controllers or anything like that. Everything just worked. I didn't even need to adjust the sensitivity or anything like that. But you also get the app, so you're able to go ahead and make some adjustments there. So one thing missing here, it does not have Hall Effect uh, joysticks. So over time, we're going to see if we're going to have any issues with uh, stick drift. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. So the battery life is actually very good on this. So you're getting around the 20 hour range and it takes around two and a half hours to fully charge these things. So the back here is pretty soft. It's not like there's like anything, any grip but it's like one of those uh, kind of like smoother plastic. So it's not gonna really slip. I don't th think it's gonna do that. But I wish it had some sort of like, uh, like rubberized grip uh, back here. It would have been much nicer. Uh, the other good thing about this is once you go ahead and are done with the controller, take them out. All you need to go ahead and do is uh, just put them together like this. You don't need to turn them off or anything like that. Automatically turns them off. To go ahead and turn them back on, all you want to go ahead and do on the left controller, go ahead and hold this for maybe like two seconds and then it turns on. So down here, you can see this other blue light flashing. So you will need to go ahead and turn on the right hand controller as well. All you need to do is go ahead and hold the menu button here and then it will flash blue. So the way you know it, both controllers are connected, they're both a solid white. If there's anything that I missed, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer that. If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button to keep up uh, with uh, new videos like this and uh, I'll see you on the next uh, video.